This pastor exposes Freemasonry during his sermon. Please watch to the end before this video gets banned because this is really interesting. Let's look at the symbols of Freemason. And there are many, many symbols, but I am taking the most important ones for you so you can understand the horrendous true meaning of these symbols. First of all, you have the letter G. Has anybody in here ever seen that symbol from the Freemason before that letter G within the middle of the compass and the square? Actually, actually, many men have it hanging around their neck or they have it on their, as a bumper sticker or something like that. But really and truly, if you don't know what that symbol is, it's quite an attractive symbol. If you watch it on the chain of a man, it's beautiful. But cursed from hell all right the g is taught to the blue lodge remember now the blue lodge is the first second and third degree they're blind like a bat they don't know anything about freemason they are told by freemason that it symbolizes god the g means god but again which god the G is taught to the Blue Lodge that it also symbolizes geometry by which we may better understand nature and its designer. Now remember, if I am told this G represents God, cool, there's nothing wrong with that. I believe in God. Geometry, to understand nature and how it came into being, cool, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's what they're told as an external expression. But the G secretly represents the gen, gen, generative, meaning the procreative cycle of the female reproductive organ called the vagina. Generative organ. That's what that G really means. Most Freemason men don't know that. They think, I am celebrating God. Regardless of which God, I am celebrating God. But that G is the first letter of generative, meaning procreative cycle of the female reproductive organ, the vagina. The letter G in the Hebrew alphabet, alphabet is Yod. Yod represents deity in general. Its cosmic meaning refers to the stars and the sun. And the worshipped phallus in the earthly meaning. Can I ask you, do you have any idea what phallus means? Anybody? Do you have any idea what phallus means? Do you want me to tell you what phallus means? Are you sure? Are you ready for it? You're not going to faint? The word phallus means erected penis. Catch your breath, please. That's what the word yod, which in English is G, the secret meaning is the woman's vagina and also the phallus, which is the man's erected penis. The people, the men that get involved at the lower level will never know this. They think that they're becoming better men, even better Christian men. So the Yad G, deity, phallus, is found in the mysterious book of the occult. A highly magical interpretation of the Old Testament that sorcerers and magicians use. That's why when you read the Bible in the Old Testament and you read about all the pagans and the Jews that had become pagans, you, you read many times in the Bible that there was temple prostitution. That, that they, they actually, as they worshipped their gods, they were having sex in the temple on their altars and then they killed the babies. This is where all of these practices from Freemason came from. 
Then you have the square. So what, what first symbol did we just take? The letter G. For what? The vagina. That's the hidden meaning. And then the, the Hebrew version is the yad, which is the phallus, which is? You guys are bashful now, aren't you? As long as you don't forget it, that's okay. The square of a mason. Now, men in here should know what a square looks like, right? I believe some woman also knows what a square looks like. Do you? It's a 90 degree angle piece of metal like this that you use when you're making a building to make sure that your 90 degree angle is straight. If not, when you put your plywood or your ply sem or your sheet rock, it's not going to fit because the angle is not well. So that's called a what? It's called a square. So let's, let's talk about what the square of a mason really is. Freemasons are taught that the square reminds them that they must be square, meaning fair and honest in their dealings with all men. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. If I am told that I have to be fair in my dealings with people, that's what God requires from us. But that's just the external outward meaning that they give the men that are entering the blue lodge. The compass, we'll get back to the square in a moment. We're going to tie it together with the compass and the square. The compass, Freemasons are taught that the compass reminds them that they must restrict their passions, control their desires, and be temperate. So again, there's nothing wrong with that. Who shouldn't have self-control? Everybody should. That's what they're told. But there are hidden meanings to these two instruments, the compass and the square. The real meaning of the square and the compass is very sexual. The square with its open ends facing up. Remember now, the square is a 90 degree. And then when it faces up like this. Everybody can see? Those of you from abroad. When the square is face up and if you notice when a man is wearing it on their chain it's exactly that way so the square with its open ends facing up represents earth receiving the rays of the sun this is what they're told it represents the earth that is open to receive the rays of the sun the hidden meaning am i there no the compass with its open arm are, and tips represents the sun and its rays falling to the earth. So the square which represents the earth receives the ray. But the compass represents the sun and the rays coming down to the earth. But listen to the hidden meaning that most Freemason men never knows because they never venture beyond the third degree. The open square facing upward represents the opening of the woman's vagina as she lays on her back. The compass facing downward represents the man's erected penis. The compass on top of the square represents the earth being penetrated by the sun's ray of light and bringing about new life. The compass on top of the square represents the woman's vagina being penetrated by the man's erected penis bringing about new life. Curses, curses, curses. If you notice, I have the symbol there for you, very small. Right there on your paper. There's the compass and there's the square and there's the G in the middle. So that's the main symbol of Freemason that most men wear. Actually, this is burnt on the Bible's cover of the Freemason, this image. In the mystery religions of Osiris, Tammuz, Baal, the phallus, the male erected penis has been worshipped and the rituals climax with sexual union. This is going back to the Old Testament. 
This shows you guys how serious the occult is. I mean, this is not something to play with, guys. Like, he's all the way in Belize and the occult is over there. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have heard about Belize, but Belize is a really remote place. It's not even, like, a, attached to the United States or some kind of large continent. And they have Freemasonry there as well. Freemasonry is a worldwide thing, and so are all of these satanic organizations. People from all different ethnicities and cultures and backgrounds are Freemasons. And the unfortunate reality is they think they go in thinking that they're going to become better men, but they actually end up worse than they went in Freemasonry with a bunch of spiritual curses not only for themselves but for their families i've seen so many freemasons or ex-freemasons their family have been cursed with so many diseases and illnesses because they joined freemasonry because they they have a satanic oath and covenant that they have to make they strike you with a knife i believe by your left or your right breast your chest and then they say that you have to swear to your god or something like that and that's how you become a master mason Right, that's just a gist of things. If you want to get the actual real world ritual on how they go about it, you can find it on Google. But the point is Freemasonry is satanic and it's something that I encourage all Christians to stay away from. If you want to research it, absolutely go ahead. You can go ahead and do that. But I would stay away from joining Freemasonry because the ones at the lower level don't know what they're talking about. Freemasonry is not just this little brotherhood that you can join and it's all good, no. They worship Satan. That's who the light barrier is. That's what that actual G stands for inside the compass. It stands for their false god, which is Satan. So I encourage you guys to uh, do research. Uh, if you are thinking about joining Freemasonry, like a, a genuine unbiased research and see how satanic it is because it's not good. Uh, but if you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share with others. And I hope that you guys have a blessed weekend.